The atmosphere was thick with pestilence, wafting from the bloated figure that was Nurgle, the Plague Lord. Engrossed in stirring his cauldron of contagions, he was the epitome of all things decaying and foul. Just then, the air shimmered, and Zinch, the changer of ways, appeared, his form constantly in flux, a stark contrast to Nurgle's consistent rot. Nurgle, Zinch began, his voice a fluid melody of discord. We need to talk. Nurgle grumbled, distracted from his pestilent brew. What's there to discuss, Zinch? More of your infernal changes? It's about you, Nurgle. You need a change, Zinch pointedly retorted. Before Nurgle could contest, another voice chimed in, its soothing timbre a soothing salve against the raw decay. He's right, Nurgle. It's high time you cleaned up. Entering the scene was Isha, an Eldar goddess and, ironically, Nurgle's girlfriend. Her radiant form was a stark contrast to the diseased surroundings, a single daisy thriving amidst decay. You too, Isha? Nurgle grumbled, shocked at her agreement with Zinch. Isha nodded her face soft but resolute. Yes, Nurgle, this isn't about us. It's about you. You need to bathe. But why? I'm Nurgle, the Lord of Decay. Dirt never hurt anyone, Nurgle protested. A moment's pause followed before Zinch broke the silence. But Nurgle, you smell worse than Slaneshi Demonette's locker room after a marathon. Isha winced at the comparison. Zinch, that's crass. But he's not wrong, Nurgle. We're doing this because we care about you. Nurgle was silent for a moment before grumbling. Fine, I'll think about it. As Zinch vanished with a knowing smirk and Isha gave him a hopeful smile, Nurgle was left with his thoughts. The idea of bathing was against his very essence, but the concern of his friend and girlfriend had given him pause. Would he, the god of pestilence, really consider hygiene? Only time would tell. In the dank chambers of Nurgle's domain, the trio convenes again, the air heavy with anticipation and the less than pleasant odor of decay. Zinch, ever the schemer, takes the lead. His form shimmers and flows like liquid mercury as he steps forward. Nurgle, I've been giving it some thought. You value decay, correct? Decay and rebirth? Nurgle's eyes narrow, untrusting but curious. Get to the point, Changebringer. Think of it this way. Zinch begins, his voice taking on an enthusiastic tone. When you bathe, you wash away the old, the decayed. It's a form of change, a new cycle beginning. Decay into cleanliness, cleanliness inviting new decay. It's not an ending, but a new beginning. Isn't that the essence of your teachings? Life from death. The plague god grunts, clearly deep in thought. The idea is new, untested. And most importantly, it challenges his beliefs causing a visible ripple of uncertainty to sweep over him. Seeing Nurgle's wavering resolve, Isha moves in closer, her voice soothing as she says, Nurgle, my love, when we prune a plant, do we not make way for more robust growth? A bath is a small pruning, nothing more. In the background, a small Nurgling chimes in. Master, remember when we pruned the tree and it grew more fruit? Maybe you'll grow more stuff too. As the reality of the situation begins to sink in, Nurgle, the embodiment of rot and decay, slowly begins to see the logic behind their words. It's not about becoming something he's not, but merely making way for new growth in his own unique way. The idea is still shocking, but there's a certain chaotic harmony to it that appeals to him. With a sigh that sounds like a collapsing crypt, Nurgle says, Fine, I see your point, but don't expect me to make a habit of it. The tension eases, replaced by the relief of a hard-won victory. But the challenge is far from over. Convincing Nurgle was the first step. Now they must prepare for the actual bath, a task no less monumental. Isha took a gentle step forward, her emerald eyes locked on Nurgle. Her hand reached out for his own, surprisingly soft for a deity known for decay. All right, Nurgle, darling. It's time. Nurgle, immense in his size and imposing in his persona, hesitated at the edge of the giant bathtub. I've faced mighty demons and witnessed eons of decay, yet this, I must admit, this ignites a fear in my very core. Zinch, perched comfortably on a nearby chair, let out a hearty laugh, a mischievous glint dancing in his eyes. Oh, come on, Nurgs, it's just water and soap. Think of it as a new form of mutation. His quip echoed in the vast room, followed by more chuckles. Naturally, you find this amusing, 
Nurgle retorted, glancing at Zinch. I may just start appreciating your sense of humor once I survive this. With a united stride, the trio approached the bathtub. It was filled with foamy, aromatic soap water, and the Nurglings, Nurgle's lesser demons, stood by, armed with scrub brushes, their faces gleaming with excitement. See, love? Aisha gestured towards the eager Nurglings. They're looking forward to this. Nurgle grumbled, his gaze on the frothy water. They don't comprehend the gravity of the situation. They're excited about everything. Zinch smirked. Including your transformation today? You never know. You might even enjoy it. I seriously doubt that, Nurgle muttered, his voice echoing through the grand chamber. Despite his complaints, Nurgle gradually lowered his bulky form into the water. The subsequent splashing, his grumbles echoing off the marble walls, and the occasional giggle from the Nurglings created a symphony of unique cacophony. As the minutes ticked away, the grumbles softened, and Nurgle leaned back in the tub, allowing the Nurglings to scrub. This is not as horrifying as I envisaged. Aisha beamed, her heart swelling with pride. That's the spirit, Nurgle. Remember, cleansing is part of the cycle, too. It's strange, Nurgle's voice carried a hint of surprise. I feel lighter. And you smell significantly better, too. Zinch couldn't resist adding. Careful, Zinch, Nurgle warned, but a playful glint in his eyes softened the words. I'm still me even if I'm soaking in a pool of fragrant suds. A visibly changed Nurgle emerged from the bath after a while. His usual greenish hue had brightened, and the faint aroma of lavender clung to him. Well, Nurgle, Aisha looked him up and down, a pleasant surprise in her voice. You look fresher. I do, don't I? Nurgle studied himself, an unexpected smile crossing his features. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually feeling quite nice. The chamber echoed with Zench's laughter. The god of decay likes bathing, what a twist. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still cherish decay, but perhaps, just perhaps, there's room for a little bit of both. Isha's joy was evident as she declared, we're proud of you, Nurgle. This is progress. Nurgle's gaze softened. I couldn't have done it without you two. And while I'm not making any promises, I won't rule out another bath in the future. Here, here, to Nurgle's rebirth. Zinch raised an imaginary toast. They all shared a laugh, knowing this was just the start of a long journey. But for now, they had succeeded. Nurgle had taken a bath, and to everyone's surprise, he didn't hate it. The air of triumph in the chamber was palpable. A god had changed, if only slightly, and for the better.